InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena. On Sunday night, the Thunder held on to beat the Toronto Raptors 108-104. The Thunder now have won seven straight inside Chesapeake Energy Arena and 14 of their last 15. The Raptors headed the other direction. They've now lost eight out of their last nine. It's a big home win for the Thunder. They have uh, seven of their next eight games at home. The only road game in this stretch is that quick trip down to Dallas next Monday night. Thunder superstar point guard Russell Westbrook with yet another triple-double. Westbrook now has five triple-doubles in his last six games. And on Sunday night, he had 30 points, 17 assists. That ties a career high in assists and uh, 11 rebounds. He almost had a quadruple triple, triple double because he had nine turnovers also. But uh, Westbrook, an outstanding night. Ennis Cantor also had a big night with uh, 21 points and 12 rebounds. Stephen Adams returned. He played well. It was a good game all around for the Thunder, especially in the second half when they were able to play much better defense against the Toronto team that abused them a little bit uh, in the first half. Here's head coach Scott Brooks and Russell Westbrook after the game. I thought that was a, uh, a very good game. Uh, we knew they were going to come in and, and play a physical game. That's how they play. And, you know, they haven't um, been winning lately, but you know that they were going to come in with a lot of toughness. And, but I thought we did a good job, especially in that second half. I thought we really um, locked in defensively. We, we talked about some things at halftime. And then we had to do much better and clean some things up and play with a little bit more uh, defensive uh, toughness. I thought Russell had had one of the, one of those games where, you know, the, the the thing that we don't talk about a lot is his defense. You know, he had the, the four steals. He was doing a great job on Lowry and a great job on the guys that whoever we put him put him on. And then I thought the, the his big defensive play was a block from behind. I don't even know if he got credit. It was that quick. Uh, but he did block their big from behind, a uh, big part of the late, late, play, late play in the game. But I thought he did a great job. 17 assists, you know, had nearly 20 assists. Um, but a lot of guys stepped up defensively in that second half. Coach Brian Henderson, AP, uh, can you talk about having Stephen Adams back? It's great to have him back. You know, it's great to have him back. He he worked. Worked extremely hard the last four weeks or so to, to put himself in a position to be back. Our staff did a good job of, of continuing to work with him on the things that we were able to do with him. Uh, I thought he gave uh, he had 15 or 16 impactful minutes that second uh, time around in the second half. I thought his defense, his rebounding, his uh, protecting the rim, blocking shots and altering shots uh, helped us in that third quarter and fourth. Darnell, May <coughs> Darnell Mayberry, the Oklahoma Scott. He went to that side pick and roll with Russ and Canner. About three minutes left yep. down the stretch. What made that so effective? Well, we've we put it in, you know, a few a few weeks ago, and and we've had it. Um, it's a tough it's a tough position for the defense to uh, to guard. They have to make a very tough decision and a quick decision. And there's uh, and Russell's, you know, he's doing a great job of finding him, making the game easy. Uh, but he's been he's been doing that for a while now. But I thought uh, the pick was good. Uh, his decision was good. I thought he had two more assists. And they got fouled and they got the free throw. So um, on that play, but it was a good it was a good play. Uh, Russell did a good job of finding the guys. Nick Allen, Thunder.NBA.com. You just mentioned Cantor Abaca was really productive for you as well tonight. How does his presence kind of in tandem with with Cantor help you guys and make tough decisions for the for the opposing team? Well, I thought Serge was good. You know, he I don't I don't even think he. Took a break in the second half. I think I played him the entire 24 minutes. But I thought his minutes were good. He had he had he has to guard multiple players. He has the ability to guard one through five. And tonight he had to do a few things that, and he had to do them uh, on the fly. Guard pick and roll play with a guy that can step out and shoot threes and Patterson, and guard pick and roll play with a guy that rolls and Johnson and and their other big. But I thought uh, he did a good job of really locking into the coverages and staying tuned in on what we're doing, who he's guarding which is something he's improved on over the years. Specifically his shot blocking, did you see that kind of affect them in the second half? The, the, no question. We wanted to be more aggressive defensively. Uh, we haven't played the defense that we want to play the last 
four to five games, and, and it continued in the first half tonight. We had a good practice yesterday, focused on a lot of good things that we had to work on going uh, down this stretch. And I thought the second half was good defensive toughness, and that's how we have to play. We have to be able to defend. And I thought we did that in the second half, you know, take away the last two possessions of the game. I thought we did a good job of locking in defensively. Barry Trammell, the Oklahoma. And Scotty, Russell's assists the last two, three weeks have zoomed way up. You got some more good offensive players in, but you also have Durant on the bench. Why is why is his assists all of a sudden where he's a threat to have a career high every night? Well, I, I know I've said this probably more times than I would have liked to. Early in the year, we were missing some shots, and every team will go through that. Uh, there's no question we're in a we're in a nice offensive role. The month of February and the month of uh, so far early part of March. Uh, I don't know what we're actually averaging. I'm sure it's in the 110 range. Um, but Russell, I mean, he, I mean, he, he would have had 20 to 25 assists a couple of weeks ago. I forgot who we were playing. I think he only played like 24 minutes. He had 17 assists. So the 20 assist games are there for him. He has a lot of he has um, a lot of good options. I thought uh, Ennis is doing a good job of rolling and 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 finding finding the ball on on his catch and finishing around the basket. Serge is in a nice rhythm offensively, and our bigs and our our shooters are making shots for him. Is he in some? Is he seeing the court better, or is he always? Is he playing any different than he ever has? It's just the people around him. It's probably a combination. Um, he's he's had we've had a lot of success with him leading, and you know he's averaged seven or eight assists the last few years, and he's he's doing a good job of finding guys. Guys are making shots for him. But as his game continues to develop, it slows down. Uh, he, he has a speed and has aggression that we need for him to play at. But he still is able to see while he's playing at that speed uh, more so now than I would say the last two or three years. Anyone else, Coach? All right, guys. I got one last one, Scott. It's just yeah. a general. You got the lead. I think you're up four. And you got a timeout, and you're inbounding the ball. Why do you always take it to the half court? How come you wouldn't stay on the baseline where the guy, f where he can move along? So the if baseline? you have, a, if you have a bad, bad inbound play, and you know they get the steal, it's right there. They get a, basically a layup without a lot of time or off the clock. So if they do, if we do get a, a an errant pass, at least we have time to get back in transition. We have you know three quarters of the court. Uh, it just opens up the court. There's sometimes when you can do that um, when we're not looking to get them, when they're knowing they're not going to foul. That's what we've done the last game. Yeah, Stephen returns. You got Ennis going early on. He had 13 in the first quarter. How deep now is this front court going to be as everyone's healthy? Oh, I mean, it's tough, man. We got a lot of young and athletic and, and mobile guys that can move around. And as you've seen tonight, we're not that best. So it's hard to stop. The team is now 18-3 and three when you play here at home. With so many home games coming up, do you feel this is the time to you guys make a move towards solidifying the playoff spot? Um, it's definitely a time for us to, to take advantage of home games. Um, can't relax, though. Um, tendency when you get home you get a chance to be home and, 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 and kind of relax and we can't let ourselves relax gotta take advantage of this and come out and compete every night the west is so tough do you feel pressure every night that you guys have to perform and keep it on the scoreboard no 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 we don't feel pressure we just come out every night uh, play our game and try to win plus what maybe change for you guys to help you get in a groove in that third quarter so you kind of hit your stride there uh, passing the ball i think did a great job moving the basketball around um guys are obviously making shots but i think when you move the ball the basketball around it, it, it's hard for the defense to stop us. Russell, your assist is still going up and up and up. What, what do you explain that to? Is it the new guys on the roster? Is it you doing anything different? Is it a combination? Uh, just guys that make guys are making shots, man. Um, these guys put a lot of work, work in throughout the summer, throughout the year, and uh, my job is to find a way to get them easy shots and then knocking them down. Russell Westbrook and head coach Scott Brooks Thunder will practice on Monday. The Los Angeles Clippers will be in here on Wednesday. The way it looks right now, Oklahoma City native and former OU star Blake Griffin will not play in that game. In fact, uh, uh, Griffin is not on this road trip that the Clippers are on, so we don't expect to see him Wednesday. It's also very doubtful that we would see Kevin Durant in the game on Wednesday as well. Scott Brooks said that Durant would be reevaluated uh, with that latest uh, foot surgery in the middle of the week, probably on Wednesday. If everything turns out great, I guess there's a possibility he could play, but right now that looks doubtful. But keep it right here. We'll keep you updated on InsideThunder.com.